Fentanyl, a deadly recreational drug, but also a bona fide boon to pre-hospital care. The chemical name is often just the same as the generic. I don't have a brand name for you, as there's none where I work. Mine's just labeled Fentanyl. I remember being taught the brand name Sublimase in medical school, but I've never actually worked a gig that had us using brand name Fentanyl. Only the no-name stuff for me. Intravenous, intraosseous, subcutaneous, intramuscular, and intranasal being the pre-hospital routes, and oral, sublingual, and transdermal being the other routes you may see. For adult analgesic pain relief, the dose is around 1 mic per kilogram or give 50 mic aliquots Q5 and titrate to effect. For adult sedation, larger doses of up to 2 mics per kilogram are seen, although some practitioners still prefer giving doses of 50 mics until they achieve the sedation level they need, whether for procedural sedation prior to the manipulation of a dislocated joint or before rapid sequence intubation. For pediatric patients, 1 mic per kilogram or give 25 mic aliquots Q5 and titrate to effect, or get out the brazil tape. Because needles are scary for peds, and can cause more distress than benefit, and pediatric IVs are not a very common thing to get practice on where I'm at, we can give intranasal fentanyl with a dose around 2 mics per kilogram with follow-up maintenance doses of 25 mics, titrating to effect. Mechanism of Action Fentanyl is an opiate analgesic. Check out our video on morphine pharmacology for a broad look at how these work. Duration For IV and IO, the onset is almost immediate, peaks in just under 10 minutes and lasts 30 to 60 minutes. For IM and SQ, onset is just under 10 minutes, peaking in about 30 minutes and lasting up to 2 hours. For intranasal fentanyl, the onset is in a couple minutes, peaks in around 10 minutes and lasts up to 2 hours. Contraindications Known intolerance to fentanyl, such as allergies or other hypersensitivity that would cause greater harm than benefit. Fentanyl causes respiratory depression. Ensure your patient can handle this and be careful not to turn a healthy patient into a respiratory depressed one. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors Why? Fentanyl is a serotonergenic medication, meaning it stimulates the release of serotonin. This is a monoamine, and without monoamine oxidase around to clean things up, these excess neurotransmitters can get a bit rowdy. Although known for having a milder effect on blood pressure compared to other opiate analgesics, there are better options for pain relief if the patient's BP is in a seriously hurting state. Precautions Look out for chest wall rigidity, a side effect of fentanyl administration involving the involuntary tightening of the chest wall muscles so tight that it stops the patient's breathing and renders your ventilation ineffective. Usually resulting from large doses or especially rapid administration, it can occur in small, slow doses too. Although the mechanism remains unconfirmed, we can correct this condition through the use of the antidote naloxone, or if necessary, the use of a neuromuscular blocking agent to shut the nerves and muscles causing this potentially deadly side effect down. All opiate analgesics can cause your bowels to slow down, resulting in constipation and obstruction, although more typically a result of long-term opiate use. Have your nausea medication at the ready? Fentanyl has been known to upset some stomachs, and be careful with patients who have already consumed some other impairing substances. You don't want to sedate your patient too much. Have the antidote naloxone nearby in case your patient ends up chasing the dragon a little harder than you'd like. Interested in more paramedic FOMED videos? Check out our website at paramedicresource.ca. Thanks very much for watching.